Hello everybody and welcome back to Greedfall. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. We are going to head south here in the city of Serene and we're going to figure out what's going on with the Nought Novice who never reported for his shift this morning. We also have to go talk to the leader of the Bridge Alliance and tell him that we've arrested the Potion Maker. A choice that I am still uncertain about, but it seemed like the most ethical thing we could do. Just because he was being dishonest with everybody who he was giving that concoction to. Oh, there's a back door. Smuggler's Journal. I have two new clients. They want to go to El Sad, and the Inquisitors are on their heels, which will not make my job any easier. I think I can get them onto a ship inconspicuously, but we will have to be cautious, and I hope that they will move, they will prove patient and discreet. I will hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbor office, where the Inquisitors will never dare to enter. And so we met those two, and we let them go, so I hope that they do get away. Who is this? Flavia. Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Well, can you tell us where he is? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see. When was the last time you saw him? When it's did you last see him? Probably the most Two important. Days ago, oh, that's a long evening. time. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. Hmm. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Sometimes I wish when you had a bunch of options like this to kind of investigate something as if you are an investigator that it would limit and branch what you were able to ask and not just be this list where you're going to go through and you're always going to ask everything. I don't know, you, you guys tell me, when you, when you play games like this, do you do this? I always go through and I'm going to ask them everything that I can, of course. Um, and that's fine. And I feel like, though, if I were really trying to solve something, like, intellectually, I should be limited in what I could ask and maybe it could branch and maybe I should lose the ability to ask about some of these things depending on what I pick. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Well, you're damn right about that, and so well, you probably did hear him, though. He was probably drowning in the river or something. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. <laughs> if he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. Alright, well, we learned a couple of things. Uh, let's see, we'll see if any of our objectives on the map have changed, because it kind of leads us, all we really have to do is go to the point of interest, right? Like, we know we're going down here. Um, 
So, you know, I don't know what we gain from asking all those questions, except that, of course, we learn about the characters more, and that's great. But it's not like we're doing any real detective work here, let's be honest. And here's Laro. This is the guy who thought he saw him carried off by thugs, so something probably happened. Good day, sir. Maybe he's involved. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine deaf winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me, but my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. Hmm. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you? The night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. That's what we've been told, but you somebody think wants my him. This story is nothing but mess, too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. The kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. <laughs> I kind of remember his face being there. Alright, so we'll have someone else to talk to. We'll interrogate the witness. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man, who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here, I can feel it. We need to lift a veil on this. I like that they have dialogue among themselves about what they just heard about. I wish we could see a little bit more of that. Ah, uh, banter. Let's see. So, I mean, the witness is back here. We'll go do that. I'm wondering if we should go find Constantine, but I don't really want to interrupt this narrative. So we're just going to head back north. It's going to take a little longer, but we'll circle around this way. And maybe we'll find some things, or maybe even get into some combat along the way. That would be fun. Whoa. I don't know what that was about. Aha! Loot. Man, I think about all the loot and coins and stuff you'd miss out on if you just did the main quest and didn't explore the area and just got on the boat and left for, for Tear for D. What's going on here, guys? What's up? Why are we, why are we arguing? No? Nobody wants to say anything, huh? Talking to the barkeep again, huh? Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I mean, you might as well, but we don't even have the option. <laughs> so, 
Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. He's here. He's right behind you. <laughs> I'm looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping in my establishment. You surely jest. Or at least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Anything else? No. That's it. Farewell. Goodbye. All right. Where is this witness? Oh, he's just. He, he would never give up his chair, except he's not sitting in a chair, and all the chairs are actually taken. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Speak to the tavern regular. Yeah, he looks like he ha well, he has uh the Malachor in, in some stage or another. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago. After visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Finally, somebody remembers something. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Hmm. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. Thugs. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Interesting. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulame Embassy. You couldn't tell us that Thank to you. begin with. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Well, we're gonna find out. That guy, the card shark, was more helpful than anybody else has been so far about this, so... We're going to follow this lead. And it goes all the way back up here to the Fontaine family house. Okay, we've been there before, but nothing was going on. Very nice. I feel like if I were to be running through here, like holding shift, I would be missing some of these boxes that we've probably already passed before, so... What is this back here? Is this something else that we didn't get? Yeah, it is. How do I... How do I get back there? I am assuming we can't go in the water. Let's see if we can find a different way around this building. Um, are we going to be able to squeeze through here? Barely. Well, look at this. Whoops. We don't need that yet, hopefully. All right.
Oh, we've already well and passed where we needed to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Well, I thought you might have been a vendor or something. You have a stand. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Well, thanks, but we already entered. We've actually been here before, and you didn't notice us then. All right, let's see what the lady can tell us. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Oh. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see? That's Your why Excellency? they weren't rough with him. We got our son back. Mm-hmm. And he didn't really want to go, but there, there was no huge physical altercation. Interesting. So he snuck off to be a cabin boy, but he lives here. Wealthy parents. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. Doubtful. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. The thing is this, even if he is the son of these people, if he doesn't want to be here, if he wants to be on the ship, which he seems to enjoy, then he should be able to do that. How did you find your son's trail? We have never stopped looking for him. We learned the new name they gave him, Jonas. My poor little Celestine. Then we learned the name of the ship he sailed on. No sooner had it docked in Serene than my husband had the crew watched closely, and we found him. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact. Well, they don't take it people. It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Hmm. I don't know. Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Oh, okay. So there we did lose with one respect, of our options. My lady. Okay. Well, where does that leave us with this? I'd like to find out where he is and find his side of the story if he wants to be with these people, his so-called family, or if he wants to rejoin the Nas. And then I'd like to help with whatever he decides to do. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We have to go back to the captain. Let's run over here first and tell the Bridge Alliance leader about the potion maker. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. 
He is hiding in a room in the Coin Guard Tavern. Oh, we gain reputation. Why didn't you have him arrested? Angry citizens have gathered round the building. They have sworn to avenge themselves after discovering his fraud. He's under house arrest. I decided arrest. it better to avoid the mob. But if you wish to capture him alive, I advise you hurry. Governor Burren will be happy to learn that a legate with great assiduity will soon be joining the island of... Assiduity? Earth. That's a great word. Thank you for your help, Excellency. And allow me to offer you this modest present for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Yeah, if we had played ball with the other ambassador, we probably would have gained a lot of experience and reputation too, but that guy was a huge bigot. Uh, the religious leader. So that's fine. This guy seems a little bit more on the level, although we did hear the potion maker side of the story that said that this that uh, Al Sahin here hates him. So we didn't really get into that with him, which I feel like is fine. Let's see what we got. So we do have two points now to spend. We haven't spent our points anywhere yet. I think with those two points, we can go ahead and grab Divine Magic Ring. And so this will allow us the use of Divine Magic Rings. We don't have any rings yet, but uh, we'll be ready now when we get them. Attributes, nothing. Talents, nothing. I really wanted to get lockpicking, but that's going to have to wait. Ooh, he gave us this? Or, wait. No, this was the... I wish I could see where we got this from. Because I think this is a pre-order bonus. Okay. Same thing with the hat. I wonder what the reputations are going to allow us to access later on. Oh, we have an entire codex. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I want to read these. But I don't want to do it all at once. Let's read about ourselves in this episode, and then we'll kind of parse these out, and maybe I'll read one every episode or two. We'll see. Uh, so about, about us. Brought up at the court of the Prince de Orsay and with his son Constantine. Oh wait, who is this about? Yeah, it has to be about us. Brought up at the court of the Prince de Orsay and with his son Constantine, you have benefited from the best tutors and masters of arms. As skilled in combat as in games of the mind, you have also shown early aptitudes for light magic. Your cousin has been more calm and thoughtful than ever, and you have always tried to protect him from the annoyances he has from the annoyances he has the power to attract, which has earned you the respect of your uncle and probably the appointment of legate. In other words, the senior diplomat on the island of Tyr for D. It is with a heavy heart that you will have to leave behind your mother, suffering from the Malachor and close to death. But the opportunity that is offered to you away from the deadly atmosphere of Serene to accompany your cousin and to discover new shores is not one that can be refused. And then our mother... The Princess de Sardet is the sister of the Prince de Orsay and your mother. She has always shown you a lot of tenderness, which is not common among the congregation nobility. She unfortunately has come down with the Malachor some time ago, and has been living in isolation since then, her suffering and appearance preventing her from maintaining her role at court. Although she may be very sorry to see you leave, Serene, and be far from her, she prefers her only child to visit more welcoming shores and seek a cure for her people, rather than stay by her side waiting for her death. Very cool. Very cool. There's a bunch of stuff in that codex. I'll have to take a look at it and see what the best approach is for us to dig into all that lore. Uh, let's head down here. And we can discover Constantine. And then we'll circle back and we'll tell the captain about his cabin boy being taken back supposedly by his parents. But I'm not entirely convinced that that's what he wants by all the accounts we heard.
It's great that we never stop finding stuff. It's really worth it to explore just visually to get a real good sense of this place and how amazing it is. And we keep finding stuff as a reward for that exploration, so very cool. Whatever Hawthorne is used for, we're going to have a lot of it. Okay, that's a little creepy. He that drinks is immortal. What is going on? Any idea who I am? Don't run up, imbeciles! I have a ship to catch! <laughs> that vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. It sounds as if he's locked up. Yes, it does. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. Well, I'm not going to give them any money. If anything, we're going to just relieve them of their lives, I guess. Because it's probably some kind of high crime to kidnap the prince. So, yeah. Um, but sneaking is not going to be how we approach this, I don't think. And so he's in here somewhere. Let's go down. I think that's the first ladder we've encountered. Can we go in this door? It's blocked. It's blocked. All right. It's not possible. Oh, just really? Okay. So we're not going in that way. We'll find a different way in. That's the really cool thing I've seen so far is that there's usually lots of ways in and out of these buildings. So let's go around the front side here. Well, we're not going that way, but we did find some obsidian and barrage, whatever that is. Enemy detection. When the player is in stealth mode near enemies, a detection indicator will appear above their heads. If your presence is detected, the indicator will fill up until you are perceived as dangerous, which will trigger combat. The indicator has two states, suspicious in yellow and detected in red. Oh, they don't really know who he is. He needed to be taught a lesson, but it's better we grab some coins. With all those posters we posted, someone went... Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Don't mind me, just gonna loot this. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock... Oi! Where do you think you're going? Yeah. You're in our territory. So much for stealth. Let's just tell these guys straight up to let him go or else. I'm looking for my cousin. And it appears that he is held here against his wishes. How do you know that? His voice is one of a kind, gentlemen, and we can hear it in the street. I order you to free him immediately. I order? I order, is that right? You're not cousins for nothing, you and that other drunkard. If you think all you need to do is come here and give us orders to get what you want. Looks like we'll need to sharpen our words with our new friends. Yeah, we're prepared to I'm do more than, so. than order. To my house. Like, how do you feel about being shot right in the face? That was a decent block. Key to his cell, potion, and some more gold. Oh, he took care of these guys up here, no problem. Good job, Kurt. 
Ooh, let's go Blackened Short Sword. Less armor damage, but a lot more physical damage once we break through. Ooh, we don't have enough points in agility to use it. Interesting, interesting. So we'll need certain attribute points in order to equip certain weapon types. So right now we put a point in Endurance. If we want to wield that weapon, we're going to have to put some points into Agility. Very cool. Villain's Den. Alright, are we going to find more trouble in here, I wonder? Let's check this room out first. Major health potion. Now, I think he was upstairs, we said. But I kind of want to explore this place thoroughly before we let him out. Yeah, he must be in the store. Use key. Uh, this one we can just open. And we have to go downstairs into the basement and look around, too. Old embroidered doublet. Is it exactly the same stats as what we have on? Is that what it's telling me? 48, 40%, 8 and 6. We lose some magical resistance and we gain some elemental resistance. Cool. I think we'll keep the Sailor's Code on, but that's neat. So he's in there. Let's go. Let's go everywhere. Because there's stuff to find everywhere. That's like really cool. It's really encouraging for exploration, knowing that you're going to find little bits and pieces of crafting materials and other things if you just look around a little bit. And the way they've designed the world and how beautiful it is, it's definitely worth looking around. And here are the back doors that we couldn't get in before. It's not possible just Oh, we could destroy this if level one science and alchemy preparation of elemental damage. Hmm. What about this? There we go. So that's the back way out. We just got that elemental preparation of elemental damage. Serene criminal's key. It's not possible just now. Hmm. What could we use the key for? Did we find any other locked doors in here? Well, let's go back up. Aha, uh -huh. we have the key. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Lots of coins. Haze potion, ammo, and a fury potion. We'll have to check out these potions and what they do exactly. And then we'll have to probably keybind some of them. Alright, I think we've got everything here. Let's go ahead and let this guy out. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Whoa! 
Constantine, it's me! <laughs> my dear cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. Well, I do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. I like this guy. At least he was ready to act to try to free himself. Companion equipment. Select Constantine from the inventory screen with left and right. Equip Constantine with his outfits. Old embroidered doublet. If you only knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. There's no one left to pay, your highness. The brave Kurt and your cousin have already settled the books. Really now? What a shame. I would have loved to have seen that. We've nothing left to do then than to board our ship. An adventure awaits us at the end of the street. All right. Uh, we do have a couple of other things that we want to take care of first. Like, we need to talk to the captain about his cabin boy. I think that might be it. Oh, you know, but first we have to find the correct way out of here. It's not up here, Robert. This is the second floor. We could go out one of the back ways. Which we might be doing. There we go. And taking a look at the map, let's see, we never did the sleeping potion. So, there's that. Um, we didn't have the materials for it before. Let's head over here and inform the porters. Nope, we're not going to get there this way. What do we have to do here? That's why sometimes a mini-map would be helpful for me. Yeah, a mini-map would minimize the amount of time I have to spend with the map open. I mean, you can kind of intuitively find your way around, unless you're me. And then you intuitively find yourself in a corner. Oh, look at this. Gold coins, ammo, and beast essence. I kind of hope at this point maybe we found enough materials to make that uh, sleeping potion because I want to see what happens with that. It would be unfortunate for that to be the only thing we haven't finished here from a side quest perspective. Yeah, we just... We don't have what we need. We need this... In a notice... Hispidus... God. Uh, and that's what we need. And I don't know where we would get that. We haven't run into a vendor or anybody that might sell us such a thing. And we've looted a lot of stuff, if I do say so myself. Wait, 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 what is this? Poorly written notice. To the family of the rich man who provoked us. We have him, and we will kill him if you don't pay us handsomely. A couple of full purse to the alley south of the old warehouse district. So this must be about our cousin. They didn't know who he was, but they knew that he was rich. Alright, we're close. Captain, sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. 
And so that was... We were trying to get those... Okay. Got it. We were trying to get the supplies onto the boat. So we won't tell him that we're ready to raise anchor, but we will let him know about the knot. And I'm trying to see... Talk to the Coingar Barracks Quartermaster in New Serene. So this isn't going to happen until we're on the new continent. It says before departure, though. But obviously is not anything... Oh, look at that. Nothing we could track here. So it looks like the last thing that we have to do is head down here and talk to the captain about a couple of things. So let's go ahead and do that. What is this dialogue bubble? What is this about? Who's this guy? Your Highness, I'm happy to see you. Okay. Your absence this morning worried both your father and me. Come now, Sir de Corsilio. My father may have been angry, outraged, or disappointed, but he's never worried about me. I am sad to have caused you any worry, though. Would you believe that I was rotting away in a sinister jail? Guarded by thugs ready to kill me. Though still seeing double from last night's drink, I was preparing an ingenious escape plan when... Ta-da! My dear cousin jumped up out of nowhere and saved me. I'm quite the fairy tale damsel in distress. <laughs> you might have refrained from the company of bandits the night before such an important departure. Take away the risk and halve the pleasure, de Cossillon. It is the salt of life. Hmm. I fear that some of my teachings have been misunderstood. <laughs> this guy's going to get but us in you trouble. I wanted to ask <laughs> me something, Desade. Okay. Yeah, so this is the guy who came and fetched us in the beginning. What will be your official title on Tier 4D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? He's Alfred, Come obviously. Now. Don't be ridiculous. He's Alfred. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. See? Nothing more. Official babysitter. But his Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. So he's going to be doing all the hard intellectual work. Extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Alright. Well, I'm thinking that we'll take a break here before we go talk to the captain in case anything weird happens. Seems like a good place to take a break. We freed our cousin. We've wrapped up most of our side quests here in Serene, and I feel like we're getting really close to getting on that boat and headed to Tier 4D. And that's really exciting to me. We've spent a lot of time here, and it's been great. And I could probably spend hours more exploring this area, but I'm also really ready to get going and see the new continent. I hope you guys are excited about it too. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care.